your DoorDash app and you expect to get groceries or a good meal delivered to your doorstep. But when this DoorDasher showed up at a St. Louis woman's home, what he brought was terror. After trying to force his way into a customer's home, he's now charged with attempted rape. First Lord Forrest Nathan Vickers is live tonight in the Florissant area with this crime alert. Nathan. That's right. A spokesperson for DoorDash told us that they want people to feel safe when they're ordering food or groceries on their app. They say they have background checks and some other safeguards in place. But people out here at these apartments have some concerns about the way they're ordering food, especially after what happened to one of their neighbors. The people who live along Summerfield Lane don't take safety for granted. It's hard to even stay safe nowadays because you never know what type of person you're going to interact with. This world is just, to me, is, 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 is bad. It's turning bad. According to charging documents, 23-year-old Trave Gaines made a delivery to an apartment here earlier this week. The documents state that he forced his way into a woman's apartment, then removed the victim's towel and grabbed her breast. The woman managed to run away, but then the documents say she then received a FaceTime call from an unknown number. When she answered, it was the driver touching his genitals. It's the kind of horror story Asia Jackson tries to avoid on the other side of the business, too. I think it's scary because I door dash on the side. She and other neighbors prefer to play it safe. Front door is the, is the best way, um, and you come and get it from the front door later. I prefer the customers to have it leaving outside the door because you don't know what type of customer you're going to run into. A DoorDash spokesperson told us the company is working with police to hold Gaines accountable. They wrote, we are horrified by this appalling and disturbing incident. This is something that no one should ever have to endure, and we are here to support the survivor however we can. Don't have it handed to me. I know you want to make sure your food's straight, but it's better to just leave it at the door. That's that's period. Now, we found out that Gaines has no prior convictions, but DoorDash says that anyone who's been convicted of a sex crime or is on the National Sex Offender Registry will be banned from delivering for DoorDash. Right now, police have not told us whether there may be other victims in this case. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. Nathan, thank you.